woven into my story as a prisoner of war is a is is a message of resilience. You know, how do you handle the tough parts of life? Now, I hope and pray that none of these cadets will ever be in an eight foot by eight foot prison cell, but my point is you still have a decision. You still have a choice in life. You can wake up in the morning and smile or frown, whether you're in a prison camp, or whether you're at home, whether you're to school, whether you're in the barracks, wherever you 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 wake up in the morning, you you can have that attitude, a positive or negative attitude, and it will affect your entire day, your entire entire life. So that's basically my message is that you have a choice. Regardless of what happens around you, that's not the important part. The important part is how you respond to what's around you. I think an awful lot of academic institutions think that if they can fill the kid's head with knowledge, you know, measuring things and things from books and things that other people have said to them that they'll be ready for the real world. But in reality, to get ready for the real world, you need character. And, and, and character is above and beyond uh, the importance of the academic knowledge that you achieve here. And so it's a very important time in the, the, in the development of these kids that they know, and I, and I hope that's one of the things that I tell them, that they have to dig deep and find a purpose in life, find a reason uh, to do what they do. Uh, and, and to me, that's, that's the reason why I need to talk to these kids. I look at a lot of schools across the country and there's nothing quite like I see here where where you're using a little bit of military discipline to form habits which give them eventual freedom in life and it's hard it's hard to argue that when you say okay I'm gonna discipline this kid but then oh by the way they're gonna have more freedom because I'm giving them constriction and and in reality I'm living proof I think that discipline actually equals freedom. That if you are a person that follows um, uh, a, a, a certain genre, if you if you follow certain patterns, if you have a baseline character, if you have that that compass, that moral compass, then all the rest of the stuff just falls into place.